Right, between a couple of teams, Greg, who can really shoot the three ball. Uh, some of your thoughts coming into this one. Well, when you have teams like this, it, it, it's about guarding that perimeter. If you don't, they're going to rain on you the entirety of the game. So this might be one of those games that comes down to who has the ball last. So a look at our starters for the Knicks. They've got Dante DiVincenzo. OG Ananobi is out there with Josh Hart. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Hartenstein in at the center, locking down the middle. Here's Hartenstein. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Brunson. And Tatum pulls it down. Here's Brown. Porzingis with a screen on Ananobi. Fires at the elbow. It's rebounded by New York. And just over a minute played here in the start of the game. Here's Brunson from down in the low post. It goes. Oh, that's a silky jump shot playing right over the top of the defense. Mr. Brunson, how good are you? Eldora's thinking about last season for the Knicks. Clearly a step forward. Well, Kevin, you have to consider it a win because you go ahead and advance in the playoffs for just the second time since their 99 finals run. Adding Jalen Brunson to the mix was obviously a great decision. This looks like an organization moving in exactly the direction you hope. Out of bounds, New York takes possession. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Brunson against Holiday. Pass to Hartenstein. Now here's Hananobi. Here's Hartenstein. Just five on the clock. A three for DiVincenzo. Comes out of the gate empty. He's 0 for 1. Here's Brown. It's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Well, I'll tell you what, speaks to the toughness of Jalen Brown. That frame is strong. Pass to Hartenstein. To the inside. Nice D from Porzingis. I'll tell you, most of the time this guy's going to finish that. But that was tremendous defense that prohibits him from completing the play. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. And here are the Knicks now after the basket by Boston. DiVincenzo kicks to Ananobi. And the pass to DiVincenzo. And the Knicks miss again. Celtics leading by five. White dishes to Tatum. Persingas sets the pick for Tatum. Three-pointer. And the Celtics hit again from deep. Adding to their advantage, trying to find a way to blow this one open. One of the things they're doing is identifying favorable matchups and then going at them. Now here's Brunson. That's just outstanding floor awareness from Jalen Brunson. Doesn't matter if he's at the one or the two. He always makes the right play. Brunson against Holiday. Passes it to Persingas. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Knicks trail by six. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Brown finds Tatum. Holiday with the three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. And you talk about a tough matchup, Doris, for teams against this one. Christoph Porzingis. He is a tough cover. Yeah, listen, Kev. This guy has that rare combination of both size and skill. Increasingly more efficient. And when he's healthy, he's really been a problem. Here's Brown. OG Ananobi making his last shot. Boston again missing. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Brunson kicks to Hart. Holiday against Ananobi. Unloads from 13. 
Porzingis with the rebound. Very dangerous to lead a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. It's Brown on the wing. Pass to Tatum. Launches a three. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Knicks trail by four. Brunson scanning the floor. Pass to Ananobi. There's the pick. There's the three. And Tatum pulls it down. Celtics have gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Holiday finds Brown. Back to Holiday. Tatum wide open. He fires one. Misses, and the dry spell continues. The Knicks have gotten just three of their first nine shots to go down in this game. Here's Brunson. Holiday with the defensive effort. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Now Tatum. Eight points for him. Launches from deep. Tatum with another miss. performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for the Boston Celtics. He notched eight points in the quarter and has that terrific basketball instinct on display. Right back after this break. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And the Celtics, guys, what jumps out to you, stats-wise? You, you got to credit their defense. Communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. Yeah, I think they wanted to come out of the gate strong, and they have. They've taken the early lead here. Tatum in the front court, alongside Horford. And it's Tillman in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Celtics. Bogdanovich inside, guarded by Tatum. Bogdanovich, no luck. Here's McKaylee. Outside Tatum, shot from the wing, and he connects with the jumper. Tatum's got ten points in the game. Well, you love the way Tatum will take the mid-range if it opens up to him. McBride passes to Bogdanovich. Robinson a screen on Tatum. Bogdanovich against Tatum. Bogdanovich, no luck. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. Six-point game. With a short break in the action, gives us a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The Celtics are a powerhouse, but they also know they're going to get every team's best shot, and they've got to be ready. All-star Jalen Brown says comfort will kill you. These teams aren't waiting around to let us win the game. You've got to go out and prove it every single night. Success is earned every single night. Kevin, I hope to earn success tonight with my sideline report. <laughs> David, you are in the Hall of Fame, my man. You have earned it. Thank you so much. Knicks trail by six. Outside Bogdanovich. Now here's Brunson. Defense right on him. Doesn't go that time. Celtics have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. We know they like having Brunson out there, Greg. A player they can run the entire offense through. No doubt. And he can be trusted on to take the keys and just run things effectively. He keeps mistakes to a minimum, and he's a solid creator for his teammates. Now, here is Robinson. Nothing on the board. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut to just three points on the basket from Brunson. 
That's business right there. Jalen Brunson, the catch, shoot, and on to the next play. Down low. Tatum down low. He's covered by Bogdanovich. And the basket by Tatum. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players to me deliver night after night after night, so as long as he's hot, keep riding it. And so New York calls timeout. They're first. Attention fans, now on the floor, he's your hunt squad. against DiVincenzo. To the wing on the left. Here's Achua. And the Knicks miss again. Celtics leading by five. To the middle. There's Tatum. And the dunk by Tatum. When you allow Jason Tatum to get going early and to build momentum offensively, it can be a scary night. And a little under three and a half minutes elapsed in the second quarter of play. Here's Brunson. Rebound, Boston. Persingas has got four rebounds now tonight. And here's Tatum for three. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. And now it's a 10-point Celtic lead. Brunson against Holiday. Up top, Ananobi. The pass to DiVincenzo. And the three ball is good. DiVincenzo's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Boston's gone two or three when they've stepped beyond the arc in the second quarter. Persingas sets the pick for Tatum. And the Celtics hit again from deep. And extensive ball movement, Doris, is a beautiful style to watch. But not every good team plays that way. Why not? I think so much of implementation of style is about the players you have. What are the strengths of your individual players? Does the point guard flourish in a pick and roll situation as opposed to ball movement? Does a point guard like Luka Doncic need the ball to be effective? It's all about who your personnel is. Now here is Holiday from past the arc. And again, Boston with the triple. A solid outside game. Holiday has good lift on his J. And at 6'4", he can get his shot off against just about anybody. Here's Brunson. Eight points for him. They set the pick. And he drops it in from the low post. Brunson's got 10 points. Well, there's an unpredictability to his offensive game. He is always keeping the defense off balance. Steps back. Tatum kicks to Brown. From outside, off the mark. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. Runs in the pass to Achua. Holiday against Brunson. Over Holiday. Got it, and the Celtic lead has been cut to just nine on the basket from Brunson. We know that the defense in today's NBA wants to take away the rim and the three. Mr. Brunson says, I'll take that mid-range. Now, here's Tatum. And three points in the game. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And he's got his first free throw of the game. In their last contest, guys, he was unconscious from the foul line. Two shots. Shoot two. First free throw is good. What impresses me about Jason Tatum are his work habits. 
his commitment in the offseason to adding something else to his arsenal. We know he can play high-level basketball on both ends. The sky is the limit. And so he's able to get one of two. Knicks trail by 10. To the paint. It's stolen by Brown. And here comes White, leading the fast break. And White slams it in. How about the hands and anticipation defensively by Jalen Brown? Part of what makes him special. Thompson with it. Nails the buzzer, Peter. Very important triple there at the buzzer. That halftime deficit looks a lot more manageable when it's in single digits. And so it's the Boston Celtics in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They've been playing some ferocious defense. We'll get right back to the action when we return. Played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. And you know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. Setting the floor for the Knicks. Josh Hart out there with on and over. Then it's Jalen Brunson. Then there's Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Hartenstein in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Tatum. Persingas with a screen on Hart. The three from Tatum. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got rebound number eight now on the night. Back to Brunson. Lock at six. The putback. It's rebounded by Persingas. Persingas has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. 
And Holiday kicks to White. Outside, Brzingis. Outside, Tatum. Ah, there's Tatum's range on display. Jason Tatum has built such consistency from beyond the arc. Doesn't matter if there's a contest or not. Passes it to Hartenstein. Brunson against Holiday. The nine-foot shot. Cut it, and the Celtic lead has been cut down to just eight points on the bucket from Brunson. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Now, Brunson, after Jason Tatum missed on that last three-pointer. Hartenstein passes to Brunson. Pass to Hartenstein. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one on White. New York shooting their first free throws of the night right here. And, and as a unit, they're shooting 78% from the line. That's a solid number to work with on the season. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. No good on the second free throw. Celtics leading by seven. Tatum passes to Holiday. The three doesn't go for him. And so it's Hard who brings up the ball for New York. Since the second half started, they've only given up three points. Even Shenzo can't hit it. Boston's gone one of four in three-point shots here in the third. Here's Tatum and slammed up by Tatum. It is to get off your feet. How about the spring from Jason Tatum? New York calls timeout. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. Well, I think this is a necessary timeout so they can figure out a way to limit the impact this guy's having from three-point range. They've got to dedicate more resources to their perimeter D. Al Horford is checked in for Derek White. Now we can line up for the Celtics. Number 42, Al Buffer. Well, we're into the third quarter, just over two and a half minutes played. With some arc, Holiday with the clock. An aggressive defender who pressures ball handlers. Nobody should be surprised to see Holiday sending shots away. Knicks trail by nine. Pass to DiVincenzo. Hart, wide open. He fires. Trains the three-pointer. Three Hart's got himself on the board with three there. You can't afford to let Hart get going from deep. He's ready to shoot it when given the opportunity. Horford kicks to Tatum. From outside the arc, a shot's good on the assist by Horford. Tatum's got eight here in the quarter. And guys getting into a nice groove here, starting to feel it. And this is partly what the game has become, right? A matter of dueling three-point opportunities. Now here's Brunson. 17 points in the game. Stolen by Holiday. And now we've got some time to check in from the sideline. You got for us, D.A.? Thanks very much. Well, the great thing in the NBA is the unknown. Any given night, you don't know who'll come out on top. 
And even coaches like Steve Kerr know it. He said, it's really hard to win an NBA game. The difference between losing and winning is like that. Kevin? Oh, a, a game of inches, right, David? Just as you're showing us, a game of inches. Thanks. Clock at four. Hart, no good. Celtics leading by 11. Tatum dishes to Holiday. Back to Tatum. Tatum draws the double. The kick out to Brown. And again, Boston with the triple. Boy, you have to be impressed with the offensive production. They have got it firing on all cylinders. And at this point, it is their game to lose. They've done such a good job building the lead. Now here's Brunson. Makes that one fall. It's his eighth bucket in 15 shot attempts. Just good on-ball decision-making from Brunson right there. This guy a master in the pick and roll. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. As the teams head into this timeout, a chance for the coaches now to map out some plays for the next few minutes and a chance for the players to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's important if they want to make sure they don't wear down later in the game. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, you have to stay hydrated. Substitution on the court. There's 57 seconds left in the third quarter. Swiped it away. And now the Knicks on the break. And the call will be against Al Horford. That is his first foul of the game. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. Sharp instincts on D there. Just timing. When to rise up and swat that one away. the middle here's McBride well Brown taking away the shooters airspace effectively crowd scores and gets them out of their comfort zone there's the pass to Pritchard Brown outside right side Horford four on the clock Hauser that three off the mark and not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. There's a screen. Bobbed up there for Robinson. And it's Robinson with the jam. You've got to have a great sense of timing on the alley-oop pass. Fantastic finish by Mitchell Robinson. What a performance for Jason Tatum. He has been the story so far for Boston. He has been a long-range assassin today. With his work that quarter, his total number of threes is up to seven. We've got more in store for you right after this. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And definitely deserving of the prize tonight. How about the read he made here? Looking like a point guard with the pass right on the money. He's got the size to survey over the top of the defense and find the open man. That was beautiful. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Austin leading by 10. They've got Horford. It's Tatum in at the two spot. Axe in the game for the Celtics. Richard passes to Tillman. Here's Tatum. Inside. Tatum automatic. 
Well, you see the effectiveness of Jason Tatum in close. Don't sleep on both his strength and his length. Outside Robinson. Some nice passing by New York here. From deep, Brunson. Rebound, Boston. Here's Hauser. Down low. Horford in the post. Covered by Achua. Tatum draws the double. Here's Pritchard. And another basket for Boston. Slow rotation there defensively, and he gets a wide open look from mid range. And I'll tell you, you look up at the scoreboard, that's correct. They have a big lead for a reason. Brunson, good. Boy, what a dribble move by Brunson. Ball on a string on that drive. Inside. Emphatic finish by Tatum. But he needs to do a little bit more of it because he's on fire. New York takes timeout. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum getting it done today. Now he is on a major roll today. This timeout was desperately needed. They've got to come up with a new game plan designed to shut him down. Zonich making a change here. Holiday's checked in. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Hartenstein's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, during the break, I heard Tom Thibodeau as he talked to the team. Now, he was vocal in the huddle. He told his guys, don't quit on each other. We're still in this game, guys, but I need each one of you to up your energy level. Let's make a run now. Back to you guys. Thank you, David. Final quarter of play, about a minute and a half off the clock into it. Taken away by Holiday. To the inside. Horford the pass to Holiday. Passes it to Tillman. Two on the clock. A shot by Pritchard, no good. Knicks trail by 14. Pass to Achua. Outside Bogdanovich. Releases from 15, and the jumper falls for him. Bogdanovich has got his first points in this one. Wow, how about that feathery touch from Bogdanovich? You just can't let this guy get loose from the mid-range. Pritchard passes to Tatum. Next trail by 12. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Holiday against Brunson. On the wing, DiVincenzo. Let's it go from deep. And Tatum pulls it down. And here's Tatum. He'll bring it up for Boston. the three bangs home the trifecta Tatum's got 41 their ability again to stretch the floor particularly in this second half and guys boy when you're hitting it sure does work it obviously opens up major options at the offensive end Celtics leading by 13 Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Round against Ananobi. Past Holiday takes a three, and again, Boston with the triple. Well, if you leave someone that wide open, Derek White will put it on time and on target. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over.
Legend fans, now on the court is your Titan Squad. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Jason Tatum. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. The better he played, the more these fans got revved up. And that continued to play out over the course of his amazing performance. Knicks trail by 16. And here's Brunson. To the middle. Here's Hartenstein. Headed by Porzingis. Holiday surveying the floor. Porzingis is double. Brown sets a screen for Holiday. Off target from outside. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Hartenstein passes to Brunson. Here's on an open. There's a good screen. And there's the pass to Hartenstein. New York needs to get off a shot. Brunson, no good. Celtics leading by 16. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Celtics. What an effort in the transition game we've seen tonight from these guys. Really pushed the ball and I think in, in doing so created a lot of pressure on the defense. I definitely had a huge edge. And this is their DNA. When they run the ball and dictate the flow of the offense like we've seen here, these are the kinds of games they can have. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for Jason Tatum. What a relentless scoring night for this guy in attack mode all evening. The first free throw is good. And a whole new group out on the floor right now for the Knicks. good on the second so he hits one of two Knicks trail by 17 inside the dunk by Achua how about the timing could be the difference between an assist and a turnover nice delivery pass to Tillman 50 seconds left to play here on the fourth Tatum knocks down the 10 footer Tatum's got 44 Convincing lead with very little time remaining, and the fans are pumped. Well, they're getting ready to celebrate, no doubt. They know it's theirs to lose at this point. Burks finds Robinson. Plays it up and in off the pretty assist. Well, this is what they needed earlier on. At some point, it's too little, too late. Yeah, but then again, this run came against a team that may have felt it had already won, and you get the sense it let its guard down. Pritchard gets the bucket. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And as a coach, you'd love to see this from your team every single night. Outside Bogdanovich. Let's it go with a three. Nailed from three-point land. Well, this is Boyan Bogdanovich's specialty. You make a three on one end, he says, I got your back. And so it's Boston easily grabbing this one. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. Once they started to really play in rhythm, you never felt like they had any doubts as to whether or not they were going to win. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. As New Balance presents our player of the game, Jason Tatum.